Hey there, welcome back. Uh, there's a new way to install Simple Trainer in your 2026, as well as Scriptook in your 2026. Uh, this started really at the end of 2025, but a lot of people are confused about the config and you know, how to make changes and how to get to their app data folder and where to install the config and all those other things. And then also not to mention that a lot of people are complaining lately that their police vehicles or police backup units and things like that are just frozen. Uh, they can't move. So I thought I'd, I'd show a little mercy. i help you guys out first. Uh, those of you that already got that, you know, Simple Trainer installed now, and you can't figure out why your backup units are frozen. Uh, this may not even pertain to people in the next six months, but I was going to go ahead and knock it out really fast. I pull up your F3 and go to options, arrow to the right. You see options page two, go all the way down to where it says everyone ignores player. Make sure that is disabled. And then over to the right, make sure you save that because if you don't save it, uh, you're going to have to do this every single time. So once you do that, you're going to press number pad five, you know, obviously to save it because that's the entry key for a simple trainer. And then you're all done. You're all set. And uh, you can probably bounce out of the video. But if you want to stick around to figure out how to get to your config a little bit easier, how to get this thing installed properly, then stick with the video. And then I'll get everybody running for GT5 Legacy as well as GT5 Enhanced. So hopefully you'll get some benefit out of today's video. And uh, this will eventually get uploaded over to YouTube. So I guess hit the like button if you feel like it, leave me a comment. Let me know if it worked for you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pull up the uh, main game directory for GT5 Legacy first. And then uh, this is real easy to get to. All you need to install for now is the ASI. That is all you have to install. Uh, it will actually create a config for you if you save it. So I'll show you how to do all that. Uh, to take the Trainer V ASI, and this is a legacy, okay? I just drop it in here and just let it fall. I have one installed, but I'm gonna go ahead and update it. We're gonna go ahead and just replace it. And that installs the Simple Trainer into Grand Theft Auto 5 Legacy Edition. And now let's do the Enhanced Smiles Well, since we're already here. Uh, click on Common at the very top. If you have that installed, Grand Theft Auto 5 Enhanced, go ahead and open this up and then take the Trainer V, uh, the ASI only. Don't worry about the I and I. It's not like it used to be. Uh, take the ASI and just drop it in here and just let it install. It's a clean version, by the way. And then we're going to back it up. We're going to stick to the legacy and then we're going to go back to enhanced again in a second. So once again, make sure you're in the legacy version. That's how you know, because it's just grant the title five. And now we're going to install script hook and we're going to install two files from the bin folder. Open up the bin folder. You need the input eight and you need script hook. That is all you need for a GT5 legacy edition. That you don't need this one. As a matter of fact, don't install that one, even though the author says to install it. Uh, you may end up getting a error message that looks like this if you try to boot up your game. And you don't want that. I'll show you how to bypass it in BattleEye in just a second. It really easy, it takes 30 seconds. So go ahead and take the input eight and script hook, and especially if you're updating, go ahead and just take both of those files and throw it in here and just let it fall and then let it overwrite. Now let's talk about the battle eye really quick. Uh, this will be for GTA 5 Legacy as well as Enhanced. Uh, go ahead and go down here to your start button, the very bottom of the screen, uh, type in Rockstar, and then you'll see Rockstar Games Launcher. Go ahead and launch the app. It's gonna ask you to sign in most times. Once you sign in, uh, go up here to the very top, go to settings. And if yours looks like this, uh, make sure all this is unchecked. So go ahead and uh, check that off and then check off the Discord rich presence. You really don't need that. And then take off the disable Windows key. Just make sure everything's unchecked and then just exit out right here. There's nothing to save and you just bypass battle eye. And now let's go ahead and do the uh, GT5 Enhanced version. So there's something else you have to do. Uh, just go to Common right here and then go to GT5 Enhanced. And then you're going to take three files this time. Uh, you're going to do Denput 8, Script Hook, and then also if you want to call it Zenput. I like to call it Zenput for some reason. Uh, go ahead and take both of these right here, all three of these. Uh, don't worry about the native trainer. You don't need it. Uh, that's why you're installing Simple Trainer. Uh, take all three of these files and just drop it in here into GT5 Enhanced and let it fall. And you got that installed. So now you have Script Hook. And then you also have you know, the simple trainer as well. And that should be right there. But first, we're going to need to make an exception inside your PowerShell. And I'll show you how to do that. Uh, this just kind of helps make sure that your your Windows Defender is not trying to block all the stuff in your app data folder. It may give you like an issue. It may not want to connect and things like that. So I'm going to give you a code that you do uh, for your PowerShell. So type in PowerShell. It is a Windows PowerShell app. You're going to right click and you're gonna run as administrator. Now I'm gonna give you the uh, code that you need to put in here. It's a little bit easier. And so I'm gonna uh, go ahead and copy the code now. I'll put this down below for you. Highlight this from here to there. Yeah, you can just right click copy like this or left control C and click anywhere in the black and you're just gonna right click. So you don't have to do control V or nothing, just right click and it'll put it there. And then you're gonna press enter. The next thing you wanna do, just to confirm, you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna show you how to make sure that it worked. If you copy this one, I'm going to copy that with left control C. 
over here, I'm gonna right click again, and I'm gonna press enter. And you're gonna see right there, uh, this is what mine looks like. It's uh, Grant the Dotto 5, and then users, and then we're gonna go to this pathway in just a minute. I'll show you how to get there. It's been excluded from the malware protection, uh, but I'll show you, uh, you know, the codes down below. You just copy them and paste them into PowerShell and you're all golden, okay? Now we're already inside File Explorer right here. So what we wanna do next is uh, click on my PC or this PC right here to the left and go to your Windows C drive and then go to users and then pick your username. I wouldn't do public, but I would just go to your username. So app data, if you'll notice, uh, look real close, you'll see it's faded out. Uh, that means it's a hidden file. So yours may look like this and it has to do with hidden items. So you'll notice that mine's gone now. But if you go to view right here and go to show and go to hidden items, you'll now see your app data right there. So go ahead and double click into your app data. You're going to go to roaming. With the README, you know, for a simple trainer, it's going to tell you to install the config into your uh, trainer V folder. It's going to confuse a lot of people. I don't know why the author didn't put this there, but it is what it is. Uh, there's no trainer V folder and don't go and create one because you don't need to. Uh, it will actually create a folder once you start running the game. And then also on top of that, this is a long pathway to try to remember all this crap, right? So let me show you an easier way to get back to this screen right here. Uh, your start button at the very bottom. A couple of different ways to get here. You can just type in run if you want and you'll see it's a run system. I just click on enter and then bottom left of the screen you're going to see the code that you need to get to the app data folder if you want to you can just start typing it out we'll pretend like that's not there we're going to do percentage and then app and then data and then percentage and then click on ok and there's the folder that we need right there and so that's exactly where we want to go i'm going to leave it up on my desktop and we're also going to uh, have the game running underneath and you're going to see the trainer v uh, folder get created for both enhanced as well as legacy so we're going to leave it just like this i'm going to fire up my game we're going to go to legacy first and then we're going to go to enhanced and i'll show you how everything looks now if you take a look at that folder uh, we just got into the game you'll notice that it now created a folder called trainer v right there and because we went into legacy first you'll notice that you have a folder called legacy and this is where your config is going to be at right here but notice it's not there because we didn't install it. Well, you don't really need to. I'm gonna leave this folder open. We're gonna come back over here inside the game and I'm gonna show you what happens right here. So go ahead and press F3, click on number pad five, and then go ahead and scroll to the right and then go ahead and arrow up. Reveal full map. This is uh, something that everybody should do. Uh, go ahead and click right here. And then now we've got a change. We made a change. And we're going to save the settings right here. We're going to press number pad five key. See it's highlighted in blue right there. So number pad five will save your config and then do it one more time. Number pad five. And you look to the very bottom of the screen settings save to trainer V I and I. So now if we take a look, I'm going to alt tab and you'll notice that we have trainer V right there. That's your config. And that is all you need to know. You don't have to really go and make a bunch of folders. That is all you have to really do right there. And so if we go to the config, you know, you can make changes if you want to, there's no reason to. Uh, you can do this all through you know, your menu. I'm gonna show you something I think is gonna be very useful for a lot of people that play LSPFR, for example, arrow downwards until you get two keybinds. Uh, you're gonna wanna probably disable that uh, only because you're gonna end up spawning a red sports car eventually by accident. And the red sports car is gonna try to kill you. And then, you know, it's gonna cause a big issue. So I would disable that. And if you make any uh, changes like that, I'd go up here to save settings again and click on number pad five and then number pad five one more time to enter that. And that will save that. And then one more thing that you may want to consider doing, totally optional, is go back to options again, number pad five, and then arrow to the right. And then if you uh, arrow downwards, see right there where it says set menu colors and fonts, uh, go ahead and go to that, press number pad five, and then my advice is uh, maybe leave the white alone, but the menu color, the highlighted color, let's change this to something that's very identifiable. I'm gonna get to something that looks like maybe gold. I kinda like gold. Uh, the gold is actually pretty good. And so that's what I use. And so I'm gonna do number pad five. Yeah, a lot easier to read, right? Uh, scroll up and go ahead and save that right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start up uh, Enhanced and you can see how much playtime I have on here. Uh, we have 97 minutes as opposed to Legacy. Hey, don't judge. And that's not even including 5 on, by the way. Add another 2,000 to that. Okay, I'm such a nerd. Anyway, let's go back to Enhanced. Let's go ahead and play it. Uh, here's the Trainer V. Uh, notice there's no Enhanced version yet. Uh, once we load in here, so now we have the Enhanced. Notice it's empty. 
because uh, we need to save something first. And I already kind of went through some settings that I think would be a good idea. Uh, let's go ahead and arrow to the right. And let's go ahead and re reveal full map. And let's go ahead and uh, set the menu color. We'll switch it over to gold. And let's make sure that everything is saved accurately. Let's go ahead and uh, click on number pad five to save settings to trainer V. And number pad five again to confirm settings saved to trainer V I and I. Now, if I alt tab again, uh, you'll notice now we have uh, you have the trainer V, of course, we have enhanced it has its own config. And then also we have legacy. Uh, sorry, this uh, video got a little bit long winded, but I just want to make sure everybody else is taken care of. Everybody have a good day and I'll see you on the next patrol. Stay safe.